everyone, and welcome to Alberta Government's National Indigenous Peoples Day here on Treaty 6 territory. I would also like to acknowledge that acknowledge the Métis people who have a deep connection to this land. Today is, Al is Alberta's opportunity to celebrate the vibrant, unique cultures and traditions of Indigenous people. To start, I am honored to invite Elder Albert Ogé to the stage. Thank you so much, everybody. It's an honor to be here. So I went to the cafeteria, I sat down, and I prayed like I never prayed before. And I prayed to my ancestors, I prayed to Creator and said, how do we make this world a better place? What do we do that all races can get along? And, uh, and I swear a voice came to me and said, we need to move beyond tolerance. Tolerance is easy as we sit stand by, side by side by each other. And as I met with the Premier and Rick Wilson, they, were, they moved beyond tolerance very quickly, as so did the Mayor and the Elders. They said, hello, Elder Roger. They could have ignored me. They could have said, you're just here to be a token Indian. But that wasn't the case. They welcomed me with open arms. That's what Indigenous Day, and that's what moving beyond tolerance and moving towards reconciliation means to me. We need to get along. Now I would like to invite Her Honor, Samla Lakani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, to the stage. Hello everyone. I'm so happy to join you for this special event in celebration of National Indigenous Peoples Day. Earlier this month, I had the opportunity to visit the Kapawino First Nation in Slave Lake. And I must say, that memory of that day will stay with me and my husband for always. And I have promised Chief Lee Halcrow that I will be going back to Kapawaino Nation. I was so amazed and impressed at the work that they are doing there. I visited the school that they run on the First Nation. It's a K-12 school. And they teach the Alberta education curriculum side by side with the Cree way of life, which is something I was so impressed to see and to learn from. And I will sure be going there one day soon again. Next, I'd like to invite the Honorable Jason Kenney, Premier of Alberta, to the stage. Reconciliation is not just a destination. It's also a journey a process of living together respectfully while sharing space and resources so that everybody can achieve their God-given potential. It, but it is not something that can be simply distilled into words. As my friend, the great Indigenous leader, Chief Willie Littlechild says, what we need is reconciliation. Alberta's government is committed to that reconciliation to work with First Nations in building a future of hope and opportunity of equality of all before the law, where ancient Indigenous cultures can thrive and Aboriginal people can fully participate in the prosperity of this province. Now I would like to invite the Honourable Rick Wilson, Minister of Indigenous Relations, to the stage. Thank you so much, Lanny. Your Honour, it's so much, so, such an honour to be with you here today. You have such a kind heart for the Indigenous people, and I thank you for that. Bert, always a pleasure. Thank you, Alder. Premier, I don't know if you know how much work this Premier has done for the Indigenous people, but it's been amazing and an honour to work with you. So on this day, we celebrate all of the rich cultures, and like the Premier said, it's such an amazing sight to see so many different cultures here today, and the contributions of the Indigenous people. And we're going to have some great performances here. I'm excited to see those today. It's all part of National History Month, and uh, Indigenous History Month, and such an important time and, and take the opportunity to get out into your communities and be part of what's happening out there. Uh, there's so much rich culture that's happening. Just uh, tomorrow, a century ago, Treaty 8 was signed on the shores of Lesser Slave Lake at Sucker Creek First Nation. Our next speaker is the mayor of the city of Amer Edmonton, Amarjeet Sohi. I don't think any other community could rise the way the indigenous communities are rising, despite all those challenges. They're rising in every aspect, from preserving culture, to language, to economic opportunities that uh, uh, Premier talked about, 
and also rising in leadership role in every institution in our country. And that is what gives us hope, that together we can build and create an adventure for all of us, where we all feel that this is our city to thrive in, where we all feel that we will have the opportunity to build our lives here, preserve our cultures, our language, our heritage, and come together as one to make sure that those who are left behind are brought together, that they are also part of this success. So that is what I learned from uh, indigenous cultures and indigenous communities. Uh, so thank you so much to each and every one of you being today. Thank you, Mayor Sohi. Now you may have noticed this great mural behind me. It was created by John J. Cat Cardinal, an emerging Canadian contemporary artist and designer. Inspired by his traditional roots and culture, JCAT's work is known for its vibrant colors and bold lines. We are so pleased to see this mural today, which speaks to indigenous issues and culture. Can I have a big round of applause for JCAT's work? Thank you. To start today's performances, I am pleased to introduce the Métis Child and Family Dancers. Performing since 2003, the group's founder, Georgina Donald, has taught hundreds of Métis youth and adults to dance, Métis style. Through her guidance, they have won many National Square Dance and Red River Jig titles. Today, we see the group's passion for their culture in action. Please help me welcome Métis Child and Dance, Métis Child and Family Jiggers. All right, ha howdy there folks. My name is Zach Willier and I'm the fiddle player here for the Métis Child Family Jiggers. You folks are in for a great, great show. We're gonna start out with the old reel of four. These folks do a wonderful job. Big round of a hand for the Métis Child Family Jiggers. Thank you for that wonderful performance. Next we have the talented Zachary Willier performing for us. All right, well howdy there folks. It's wonderful to be here. I'm gonna sing a couple songs here for you good folks. This first one is called My Bucket's Got a Hole in It, an old Hank Williams number. My buck has got a hole in it. You know, my buck has got a hole in it. My buck has got a hole in it. I can't find me no bee. I went up on the mountain. I looked down at the sea. 
Seen a crab and the fish is doing the beep bop beat Come on, bucket's got a big hole in it You know the bucket's got a hole in it My bucket's got a hole in it I can't find me no beer Alfie Meyer I went up on the mountain I looked down at the sea Seen a crab and the fish and Doing the beep bop beat Oh, my bucket's got a big hole in it You know the bucket's got a hole in it Oh, my bucket's got a hole in it I can't find me no beer Well, there ain't no use For me working so hard when I got a woman in the boss man yard, come a buck has got a big hole in it. You know the buck has got a hole in it. My buck has got a hole in it. I can't find me no bee. Before I welcome them to the stage, I would like to talk a little bit about Inuit throat singing. For those of you new to the art form, it traditionally has two women singing duets face to face with no musical instrument. They sing as a contest to see who can outlast the other. With that, I give you Knowledge Keeper Gouda and Alana. <laughs> Indigenous music is the heart of many First Nation performances. Today we will get a sample of those performances, starting with the First Nation drum group called Mountain Cree. Performing the chicken dance is Charlie Quintel from Buffalo Lake Métis Settlement.
Thank you, Charlie and Mountain Cree. What an amazing performance. Now we will present the women's fancy shawl dance with Sheena Pappin and her daughter, Kyrie Christian from Enoch Cree Nation. What a great performance. Thank you, Sheena and Carrier. Now we'll be, we will have a performance by all three dancers.
As we conclude today's event, special thanks to Edmonton City Center who has generously provided this venue for National Indigenous Peoples Day celebration for more than 10 years. There are many other great family-friendly National Indigenous Peoples Day event taking place across Alberta this month. I encourage everyone to participate. It was such an honor to be your MC tonight. Hi hi and have a great day.